dy dx is equal to y times um, x y squared minus 1. So this is kind of like a hidden Bernoulli. I mean, you see the y squared. So yeah, you know, it could be Bernoulli. But it's not written, it's not written in this form, right? Not yet, right? Not yet. So the first thing you want to do when you see something like this, where it looks like it could be Bernoulli, is, is make it look like that. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, so, so what's the first step? That's the well-meaning solution. What's the first thing we should do with the y? Maybe distribute. Yeah, distribute. So dy dx. This is going to be x times y cubed. Right? And, then, and then just minus y. Minus y. So x, y cubed, minus y. All right, good stuff. Um, what next? What do we add to both sides? Um, what is y. Good, 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 good. <laughs> it has to fit the form of the Bernie, right? So this is dy dx plus y equals x y cubed. Good. Good stuff. Right? And so now you see, now you see it perfectly fits the form of the Bernoulli. P of x is equal to 1, right? What's f of x in this example? x. 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 And then most importantly, what is, what is our value of n? 3. So n is 3. Super, super key, right? So n is equal to 3. I'm going to write that down. n is equal to 3. right? And then we just have to work out, so step 1, work out u equal y to the 1 minus n. right? So, so u is equal to y to the 1 minus 3. Okay? Right? It's, it's funky. right? It's 1 minus n. Okay? It's 1 minus n. Bernoulli's are fun because even the name like, kind of like incites like Type of joy. I don't know. I like them. <laughs> it's like when people ask, we can tell, oh, I'm working on some Bernoulli's. <laughs> it's like, like, it sounds cool. It's a cool name. Um, so u is equal to y to the negative 2. Uh, and then we have to solve for y. So to solve for y, we write this as 1 over y squared. Okay. And then we simply multiply both sides by y squared. So multiply by y squared. So we get y squared u equals 1. And then divide by, um, by, by, by u. And take the square root of both sides. Now, when you take the square root, you get a plus or minus. It doesn't matter which one you use. We'll just use the plus. So this is going to be, um, let's raise it to the 1 half power. Let's think of it that way. So y is equal to u to the negative 1 half. Okay. So don't worry about the plus or minus. Um, it doesn't matter which one you use. You shall receive, you will get to the uh, same answer. I've, I've done it because it drove me nuts. So, any questions up to here? Anything hazy? So, so again, I like the Bernoullis because you know when it's Bernoulli. You know it's pretty obvious. Um, it's going to stick out on an exam, so it's it's a good feeling. Like you'll get the Bernoulli right. You know, you got the Bernoulli. I think. All right. So now we have to compute dy dx. That's what it says here, right? So we've done this one. We've done this one. Now to compute dy dx. Okay. So dy dx. So dy dx. All right, so when we're taking a derivative here with respect to x, we bring the negative 1 half down, right? So we get negative 1 half u to the what? Negative 3 halves. Ne now it's starting to feel like a Bernoulli. There we go. That's familiar. Well, not to you, but it becomes familiar. And then times, <laughs> times the derivative of the inside, which is simply du dx. Super key step. So let me let you uh, catch up. So, anything hazy? I like these a lot better than the homogeneous ones. Is u um, some sort of a function for what for x? Yeah, u is equal to this. U is, it's a substitution. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, u is, yeah, yeah. Yeah, u is a function of y, but y is a function of x. Okay, that's, uh, that's how you can do it. Yeah, that's deep, Edwin. So Edwin's worrying about the du dx. Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, so now we're ready to go back here, right? Go back here, and we're going to substitute everything here. So dy dx is going to be this bad boy. So I'm going to write that down. Sub, su sub, 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 
She's like, oh, I thought you said OOT. I'm like, no. <laughs> you mentioned that. Substitute? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah like, dude, dude, no, no. Like a train? <laughs> it's like, oh my god. It's so, I actually forgot how to spell it. I forgot how to spell How do you spell occurring? Does it have one R or two R's? Occurring. Two or two R's. Two R's. Okay, thank you. All right, let's just keep going. All right, so we came up earlier. No. D Y D X, do our thing. Argument. All right, so this, I was wrong. So this is negative one half u to the negative three halves du dx. So what have I done? We've replaced dy dx with, with this, right? Making, making, that, making that substitution, okay? And then plus y, so plus y. Oh, oh, but don't, we should know what y is, don't we? What's y? U. Oh, what happened to it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. Oh, okay. It's that. Yeah. Equals x, x, and then and then y is this. So y cubed is u to the what power? What power would that be? Minus, minus three halves. Solid mark. So it's u to the minus three halves. Let me pause here. It's in the next step. I remember when I was first learning Bernoulli's long ago, thousands of years ago. I would always mess up in this next step. Like this was the next, when I when I when I simplified, I would always do it wrong. It was a common mistake. So anything hazy up to here. The next step, a lot of work is gonna take place in our heads. So in fact, I'm gonna do something that I never do. You know how usually when we're like here, going from here to here, I just multiply by y squared. I didn't I didn't write multiply by y squared. I didn't do that. That was silly. But here, I'm gonna write down what we're gonna do. We need to get rid of this. This is gonna become linear, so this has to go away. So we're gonna multiply by negative two. U, what, what power do I have to put here to get rid of this guy? Three halves. Good foo. Yes, foo is correct. So the negative two is there to get rid of the negative one half. You see that? Multiplying by negative two will get rid of the negative one half. And multiplying by u to the three halves is going to get rid of that guy there. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so now we're just going to do it. Okay. We're just going to do it. So I'm multiplying this by this. We're just going to get what? What does what all this become? D U D X. Look at that. It just feels better. Right? It's, it's gone. This is a plus, but it's going to become a minus 2. And then what's U to the 3 halves times U to the negative 1 half? U to the 2 halves, which is U. Look at that. It's beautiful. Equals. We have negative 2 x. Oh, 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 that's it. That's it. Right? That's it. Look. U to the 3 halves. Yeah, it goes away. It's Bernoulli. Yeah. <laughs> so, so if it doesn't work out nicely, you did it wrong, right? So start over. Right? So any questions up to here? So the Bernoulli's become linear. So I see a Bernoulli is like almost linear, right? Except the presence of this integer, right? That's, if it's 1 or it's 0, we're good. But if it's like 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., it's not linear. So we make it linear by making this substitution. Uh, all right, so now we're ready to uh, do this. This is linear. You want to think of this guy as plus negative, right? So, so negative 2 is your p of x. So our integrating factor, back to linear, is e to the integral of negative 2 dx, right, still dx, and this is simply going to be e to the negative 2x. We don't have to worry about the constant or, or anything like that. This was from 2.3. Yeah, linear was 2.3. So linear is really easy, especially after everything we've done. After you do the homogeneous, um, you know, the linear is like a joke. I mean, uh, or, or the exact, exact is pretty heavy too. And the Bernoulli is. Well, the Bernoulli requires that you know linear, right? So it's like a super problem. Oh, uh, it's e to the to the integral of p of x. Okay. p of x is negative two. Then we multiply everything by the integrating factor. We're big, so it's going to be e to the negative two x du dx. Okay, uh, and then minus two e to the negative two x u. Right? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I, I lost track. I just zoned. I was thinking about something else. Yeah. Uh, it's a bad idea to do in the classroom. And then uh, it's negative two x uh, e to the 
Negative two f, is that right? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's what we're gonna do next. Yeah. Uh, times times u, right? Mm -hmm. Because u is our function this time, right? Good. Good. So now it's gonna be d d x d d x bracket, and it's the integrating factor, good, which is e to negative two x times u. And then, oh, this is a great problem. This is a good, good, it's a nice, solid test question here. This is good, this is good, this is a good one. Why is it so good? It's not too hard, and now look over here. What, what technique are we gonna have to use to integrate that right-hand side? Tabular, so it requires some, you know, you gotta do some calculus, you know? It's not just like, oh, integrating x and done. No, 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 you gotta, you know, you gotta know some techniques. All right, so any, anything hazy? Makes sense negative so two x times z. Yeah, so this is uh, our integrating factor, and this is our right. function. Okay, so you just multiply that over. Yeah, oh, remember you can check this, right? You can check. Mm -hmm. The derivative of the first is negative 2 e to the negative 2x times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So it works out really nice. All right, does that make sense? Oh, it does? Oh, good. Okay, good. All right, so we integrate. I wasn't sure. So, <laughs> so integrate. <laughs> Math is, uh, math is hard. All right, so integrate. When you integrate this, the derivative goes away, right? So you just get e to negative 2x times u. Let's go to the side and tabulate. Not tabulate. It's not even a word. Let's use tabular. It's tabular. tabular. It's tab Let me do it. I'll, I'll do it here. So this is negative 2x, negative 2, 0, right? Just differentiating. Boom, boom, boom. And then what do we do with this guy? We integrate. integrate. Yeah, like pros. e to the negative 2x. And we just keep dividing by what number this time? Negative 2. Negative 2. You know, it's, it's amazing how much better you get at calculus. Then you do it again, and then you put you plus, minus, plus, and you draw arrows. Like missiles. All right, and this is negative and negative is positive. Oh, what happens? Yeah, the negatives go away. What happens to the twos? They cancel out. Yeah, they cancel. This is nice. I haven't done this problem in like over a year, so it's all a surprise to me. This is E, just as new to this as you. I haven't done this. Well, <laughs> I knew how to do it. I just haven't done it. Uh, and this is uh, one half. But I have no idea like what to expect. E to the negative two x. It's a good surprise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then plus, uh, it's a good surprise. Plus C. 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 Are we done yet? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, it's quick. No. I, I this, this. Huh? Oh, you learned it nice and long? What do you mean? Yes, me. Huh? Me? No, I didn't. Who was this? <laughs> no, I don't remember. <laughs> so, you didn't learn it in Cal 2? I did. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. I learned it in Cal 2. It's in the book. Yeah. See, it's in the Cal 2 book tabular, but it's like not, like, it's like an example at the end of this section. It's like an optional thing. <laughs> so it just depends on where you're going. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What? To solve for you, we just divide everything by what? Yeah, look, look, just boom, boom, boom. Oh, I shouldn't do that. That's bad. That's bad. Sloppy. So, so, so u is equal to x plus, oh, how pretty is that? x plus 1 half plus c over e to the negative 2x. I wanted to bring it up, but I don't want to make any mistakes. And we're still not done. Right? We're not done. Because u is equal to what? y to the negative 2 or 1 over y squared. Right? So in this case... The final answer <laughs> is 1 over y squared, yeah, get it done, equals x plus let's see, 1 half plus, let's be pro about this, c e. 2x. Bring it up. That's it.